What's up everyone? Erica here and I'm back today with another video for you. <sighs> okay, just doing that intro was annoying because masks. Alright, just kidding you guys. I'm in my house. I'm not gonna keep my mask on or anything like that, but I kind of wanted to put that on to like excuse the way that I look right now. This is very real. Uh, this is like soccer mom chic. I literally just walked in the door from Trader Joe's and I started unpacking everything and I'll be really honest with you guys, I was very excited because I haven't been to Trader Joe's in at least six months. So we have definitely been sticking to the quarantine restrictions whatever you want to call them pretty like we've taken it really seriously so jd does all of the grocery shopping for us i do not take juliana anywhere really but with all of that i used to do our grocery shopping with juliana i'll be honest it does bum me out uh, i really did used to enjoy grocery shopping so i know i talk a lot so i'm gonna try to like scale it back here but the whole reason i'm telling you this is I went a little bananas at Trader Joe's, okay? Since it's been such a long time since I've gone, I kind of went a little crazy and I bought a lot of things that I shouldn't be eating if I'm being perfectly honest with you, but it doesn't matter. I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys like Trader Joe's hauls because I for one love them, you guys. I love Trader Joe's hauls, especially because they do tend to change things out or they get new stuff in that's seasonal. Uh, I'm always looking into what's new, what's available for me to try. One channel that I always have to shout out when I mention anything about Trader Joe's is Liz over at Miss Liz Heart. I am going to be going over a bunch of things here that I bought, but I will be telling you the items that I tried before and then the items that she recommended and it's like the first time I bought them. So whew, let's get into it. All right, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is talk to you guys about condiments and like seasonings and stuff like that because I'm really excited for what I have here. The first two things that I'm talking about are two repurchases for me and I, honestly, I feel like it's like the 14th repurchase. So the first thing I'm talking about is the Everything But The Bagel seasoning along with the Trader Joe's uh, 21 Seasoning Salute. If you have not heard of the Everything But The Bagel seasoning blend, you have been living under a rock. This stuff is just everywhere. I This is what I was saying. We bought this like 10 times at this point. I have a recipe for everything but the bagel, kind of like chicken strips that I make in the air fryer. And it was a big hit with my family. So I'm gonna be making it again this week, but it does call for a like a fourth of a cup of the seasoning. So we're burning through this fairly quickly. If you're interested, I will leave that recipe listed in the description box. This one is a fairly new one that we've tried. My stepmom gifted it to us, like she swore by it and we really love it as well. It has all kinds of different spices in it. Onions, black pepper, celery seed, cayenne, basil, parsley, bay leaf, all kinds of different things. So I tend to sprinkle a little bit of this on top of JD and Juliana's eggs in the morning and they really like it. So this was another repurchase. Something that is a first time purchase for me that again was referred or recommended to me by Miss Liz Hart was this Trader Joe's Chili Onion Crunch. It is exactly what it sounds like. It looks almost like a chili paste. There, I'm kind of showing you guys like the consistency. It's in a lot of oil but there is uh, dried onions, dried garlic, dried red bell pepper, crushed chili peppers, toasted dried onions, sea salt, obviously olive oil. So the way she showed using this was like over rice, but this just sounds like it would be so good again on eggs or um, I'm not really the biggest egg eater. So I like to have a lot of different kind of condiments to put on top of my eggs to kind of get rid of the flavor, if you will. The next group of items that's going to take up a lot of time, I feel is going to be like snacks. Oh, I went heavy on the snacks. I'll be really honest with you. So one thing that my mom actually suggested to me was this creamy cauliflower jalapeno dip. Yeah, it has like cauliflower, cream cheese and jalapeno and a bunch of other stuff, but she said it's super good. And she said that it kind of made her feel a little healthy because it has cauliflower in it. <laughs> so, you know, I'm all about pretending like I'm eating healthy when, you know, maybe the fact of the matter is it really, we aren't. But anyway, to go along with that, she suggested these. 
organic white truffle potato chips. I don't know if many of you out there are fans of truffle. I know it's a very intense, strong flavor. I, for one, really like it. I feel like I don't know JD's answer, so I'm very excited for him to try these and kind of get his opinion. Maybe I'll do that on camera. the chips and dip theme here I am going I also purchased another like household favorite and they are these uh, Trader Joe's restaurant style tortilla chips I don't know if it's even worth it me mentioning these to you guys but they're super salty super good they do taste restaurant quality and along with that I bought the Trader Joe's salsa verde I really really enjoy this salsa it's not too spicy it's got great flavor these two paired together are just everything and if you thought I was done with the snacks, you got another thing coming. Per my husband's request, I also picked up the white cheddar popcorn. JD breezes through this, so if I'm spending a billion dollars at Trader Joe's, the least I can do is get him his requested snack, right? <laughs> I'm now kind of moving on into Juliana's snacks. This is really the main reason why I wanted to go to Trader Joe's myself, really browse the aisles. Uh, Juliana is getting way better at like feeding herself and you know i'm not like as worried about her choking on things and stuff like that so i really like to give her a variety of snacks and vegetables and foods and stuff like that so i just wanted to give her a little more options so the first thing i picked up were these vegetable root chips okay so it's sweet potato taro batata and parsnip i don't know what batata is but these are them here i feel like i have had these before and they're pretty good so i'm hoping i can uh trick her when she asks for chips, I can just give her these and that's a mom win. Some more snacks I picked up for Juliana and I realized that there's a trend here with all the items that I picked up for her. I should have picked a different variety. But anyway, the first one that I picked up is called the Trader Joe's Bomba Peanut Snacks. These literally have like three ingredients, peanut paste, corn grits, palm oil, and salt. So when I get snacks for her, I try to make it a point to really just find items that have very minimal ingredients so i love that so i'm really hoping she likes these that would be great i also picked up these organic mini peanut butter sandwiches i know that she loves these so i just grabbed them i should have got the cheese ones because i got too much peanut butter stuff but it's okay the next item that i picked up for her which is a first time purchase for us are the peanut butter puffins they're just kind of like these little cereal puffs we give her cheerios like all the freaking time so i'm like this kid needs some variety so i'm hoping these are a hit so now making our way back to the adult snacks. One of my all time favorite things you guys, and I'm kind of embarrassed to share this with you all because it's really throwing myself under the bus, but one of my favorite cookies ever, like of all time ever, are these babies. The cookie butter sandwich cookies. So they are creamy cookie butter spread between two decadent butter cookies. If you guys like cookie butter, which I love cookie butter, which is just like a kind of like a snickerdoodle-y flavor. I don't really know what to call it, but it's so good. It's so good. I wish I could have like this whole pack in one sitting, but it's unacceptable apparently. So I had to get these because we've been without them for a really long time, as well as these fig and olive crisps. So again, this was a recommendation from Miss Liz Hart. I had showed these to JD and he's a really big fan of fig, like fig Newton and things like that. So I was like, do you think you'd be interested in these? It's like, yeah, I'll try them out. So I picked these up and really the reason I bought these is because I'm planning on setting up a little like date night in for JD and I coming up here this weekend. I wanted to do maybe like a mini little charcuterie board for the both of us and maybe have some wine. I feel like it is nice to do these kind of things I don't know, I was gonna say every now and then, but it's nice, it's nice to do little romantic things to keep the romance alive, if you will. This quarantine, it's not like we're going out on so many date nights, so I'm excited to do that. So with all of that being said, these I'm gonna put out with, I bought some Trader Joe's Unexpected Cheddar Cheese. But guess what, you guys? I love Trader Joe's, but I've never tried this before, and I hear incredible things about it. So it tastes like an aged premium cheddar with hints of Parmesan. 
that's what it says love cheddar love parmesan so i'm very excited to try this and along with that liz also recommended this uh blueberry vanilla chevre chevre i don't know it's little blueberries uh, wrapped around goat cheese. Jamie loves blueberries. He loves these kind of fancy, bougie cheeses. So I was like, let's try it. I also bought us some brie, which is like one of my favorite cheeses. And then I saw this little, uh, little gourmet deli variety pack. It comes with salami, prosciutto, and capicolo. I don't know. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I feel like these meats are kind of on the pricier side. And I think this was $5 at Trader Joe's. So along with that, I bought some grapes. I'm gonna set up a nice little romantic charcuterie board for us. And at Trader Joe's, I also purchased us some wine, <laughs> some adult beverages. So JD, I picked up this Cabernet Sauvignon. JD's big on reds, I can't do it. I feel like I'm not mature enough to enjoy reds or something. But for myself, I got myself a nice little Moscato and I thought the bottle was very pretty. The lady said that this is like one of their most best-selling Moscatos, I guess. I don't know. Sure. Add to cart. We're kind of getting down to the end of the haul here. All right, so all of the items that I purchased from the freezer section are all repurchases for us. They are staples in our house and we love these things. So the first thing that I purchased were these Trader Joe's hash browns. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really know if there's much more to say about them. I, we're a big fan of these great for breakfast if you're looking for an easy breakfast for your kids I guess another item that I tend to always stock up on like I'll grab maybe two or three bags of is this cauliflower gnocchi uh, it's made with cauliflower flour I think oh no it's cauliflower cassava flour potato starch and virgin oil and salt so that's it I love making this with chicken and I do kind of like a Parmesan chicken thing, but instead of doing the pasta, I cook these and um, they're really good. Like they taste super good. I feel like the first couple of times I made it, it was trial and error a little bit, but now I feel like I've mastered it. One thing that my dad brought over to us, my dad's a big uh, Trader Joe's shopper as well. The Trader Joe's that we go to is very close to my house. So if my dad goes, he would usually bring us some sort of treat from Trader Joe's. And it's really sweet that he does that. He's just very thoughtful. But uh, one thing that he introduced me to, and I'm kind of regretting that he did that, uh, are these ice cream sandwich cookies. We really try to hold off on buying them because they're so good. We really, really enjoy them, but it's like you have a bunch of dessert in your house, you know? I don't love ice cream sandwiches, and I know that's gonna sound really weird. I love regular ice cream sandwiches, like the soft chocolate cookie and then with the vanilla ice cream, like a like Klondike or something like that. But ice cream sandwiches usually hurt my teeth. They're really like hard to bite and stuff like that. Not these. The cookie itself is so good. I gotta tell you what, you guys, I'm not a big chocolate chip fan and these have a butt ton of chocolate chips on them, okay? So just know that before walking in. But I don't know, like it doesn't bother me as much as it does with every other ice cream sandwich or I don't know, chocolate chip ice cream, it just doesn't bother me. So these are amazing. I know that he and my stepmom tend to watch my videos from time to time. So dad, if you're watching this, shout out. Thank you for the ice cream sandwiches. We love them. Maybe I should show you guys the other ones that he's brought us as well, hold. These are another little ice cream treat that he brought for us. I think that these are probably like our least favorite ones that we've tried so far, but they are the mini mint chocolate mouthfuls. They come in a 12 pack, this is them here, but they're teeny. They're like, I don't know, like the size of an Oreo and then they have mint chocolate chip on the inside. I'm not the biggest mint chocolate chip fan, so these weren't like my favorite, but I thought I would share them because my dad stays hooking us up. And the last one that my dad kind of surprised us with as like a little treat were these brownie crisp ice cream sandwiches with ice cream coffee on the inside. I, I don't have the box anymore, but this is, <laughs> this isn't really what they look like either because this one was smashed in the freezer, but these are super good. I had one, like the first one I've ever tried just recently and I really liked it. Uh, again, the little brownie bite is really soft. It's really easy to bite through, so if you're big on ice cream sandwiches, I suggest you go to Trader Joe's and raid their little section because it seems like they've got a lot to choose from. That's gonna do it for my little Trader Joe's overhaul, grocery haul. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> 
I had so much fun shopping again and just being at Trader Joe's, looking at what's new. I cannot wait for their fall stuff to come out. Give me all of the pumpkin. So I'm definitely gonna have to head back there once all the fall stuff comes out. If you guys enjoyed this video, this is super, super random, super new content for my YouTube channel. So if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried any of these, if you saw some of your household favorites in this haul, or if you guys have a suggestion, give me all of the Trader Joe's suggestions, okay? Because next time I'm going, it's gonna probably be when all their fall stuff comes out. I have so many favorites when all their fall stuff is released as well, so I can always make another video for you if you're interested. But for now, that's gonna do it. As always, I wanna thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I hope to see you back again for the next one. Bye.